Oh, hello. You know, over the years, through both happenstance and occurrence, I have collected a few random booster packs, and since this is the Commander Legends pre-release weekend, that means I have absolutely nowhere I can go or nothing else I can do, so I might as well crack open a few of these classic vintage and legacy booster packs from throughout Magic's history. Oh, Xena, Warrior Princess. Well, that one might be a little too powerful of a commander, but we've got six other ones that may interest you. Today we'll be opening a pack of Chronicles, Urza Saga, chopped full of reserve list cards, Mirrodin Besieged, Future Sight, Tempest, and Exodus. What big pulls await us? Let's find out. Chronicles in many ways was the original Modern Masters reprint set, and it's why Modern Masters was supposedly always offered as a limited and nervous print run because Chronicles nearly tanked the market. Today at 15 $15.99 a pack, the most valuable cards you can pull from a pack of Chronicles are Concordant Crossroads at $35, City of Brass at $20, Blood Moon, oh how the mighty have fallen, $13, Ashnod's Altar at $6, and at the very bottom of any value, the mighty Dragon Lord himself, snuggling up to read a good book, Nicol Bolas at $2. Next, we're cracking open an Exodus booster pack, $49.99 each for these because, well, you might get a survival of the fittest, which is worth $207. City of Traders is $171, wow. Recurring Nightmare, Band and Commander, and with good reason, but $35. Mind Over Matter, $33. Or Hatred at $28.
Next up, we're gonna see what's in Tempest, $56.99 a pack. And the top card in the set currently is Intuition at $125, followed by Earthcraft at $99, Scroll Rack, I know that one, $82, Alluren, $49, check out my Legacy Deck Tech on Alluren here, Humility at $44, Ancient Tome, $38, or Elodomery, Lord of Leaves at $36. Ah, Mirrodin Besieged, I remember you. Only $9.99 a pack, but wow, Sword of Feast and Famine could be in there, and that's worth $51. Or a Blight Steel Colossus at $40. Consecrated Sphinx, yeah, I think I heard a few people run that in Commander. $35 each, or Green Sun Zenith at $16. Urza's Saga. There are reserve list cards aplenty in this booster pack, potentially, and thus it would cost you $114 or possibly more in that. Card Kingdom is all sold out of these booster packs, but I've got one here and maybe we'll crack a Gaia's Cradle, which is worth $659.23, or a Gilded Drake at $237, Sarah's Sanctum, anyone, $194, or Yogmoth's will really $159 my goodness the Telarian Academy those snobs just because they're accredited $117 or maybe time spiral at 115 then we have a huge drop off down to exploration at $50 followed by contamination at 32 let's see what we get
future site. No, not the card, the set. And Pax Hero costs you $39.99 each because you might just crack open a Sliver Legion, which runs $99 on the singles market. Or followed by a Tarmogoyf at $61, Horizon Canopy at $31, or a Chroma's Memorial at $30. Wow, we sure got some value there. It's like someone has always said for over seven years, buy singles. If you want to play Magic the Gathering, buy the singles you need to build the decks you want to play. Or if you are looking for decks of Magic the Gathering, you could pick up a battle deck over at Card Kingdom, pre-built decks that don't really have any cards of value in them, but have been carefully and meticulously engineered to deliver an enjoyable play experience for only $9.99 each. And when you consider that even a Chronicles booster pack costs more than that, paying $9.99 for a fully designed and more or less balanced deck of which you have a plethora of choices over at cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC means that battle decks are a great fun gift this holiday season or just an easy way to sit down with friends, assuming you've both been quarantined together and play Magic the Gathering.